100 SMU installation instructions. This product fits all bus seats and requires no tools or drilling for installation. This product must be used on a school bus. Passengers seated behind occupants with an Easy On Products vest and seat mount must also be in an Easy On vest and seat mount. Wearing a seat belt or the seat must remain empty. Compatible vests include the 103Z, 303Z, 203PB, and 403PB. Step 1. Unlock seat and lift up. Step 2. Hang adjustable hooks from top of seat. Step 3. Close bus seat making sure the non-adjustable hook ends are extending on seat bottom and securely lock seat bottom in place. Step 4. Connect push button. Once connected, the face of push button should be against the bus seat back. Step 5. Adjust length of seat wrap so that the bar slide is at the top of the bus seat and non-adjustable hook ends are extending approximately 2 inches on seat bottom. Step 6. Back thread loose end of webbing through bar slide. Step 7. Pull webbing tight at the push button. Mount strap must be tight without slack. Webbing should be tight enough to create a crease on the top of the bus seat. Step 8. Properly seat passenger. Hips low against the back of the seat and shoulders flush to the seat. Step 9. Attach the non-adjustable tether hooks to the D-rings located at the hip level of the seating passenger's vest. Step 10. To shorten or lengthen the hip tether hooks, rotate seat mount. Step 11. Attach adjustable hook ends to tether slots on the shoulder adjusters on the vest. Step 12. Tighten strap by pulling webbing through the tilt lock adjuster. Step 13. Back thread loose end of webbing through bar slide. Note. Repeat steps 11 through 13 for second shoulder strap. Once the passenger is secured in the seat, the passenger should not be able to move their hips forward more than two inches or move their shoulders forward or side to side too far. The bottom strap of the vest should sit low over the passenger's hip bones.